Hello, I'm back. Um, ever since I took these um, readings off the uh, terminal, off the motor, I, I wondered if I could use this motor as a generator without, you know, because I think that's what we're trying to do with uh, engine number three. And, um, you know, I've read uh, what it would take to do that. And um, the one reason I got into, uh, got interested in uh, number three is it was quiet and it was motionless, you know, supposedly. And uh, so anyway, what I'm trying to do is see if I could utilize this motor uh, as a generator also. And so I've got, I've got it hooked up to the strip and then also to a, an inverter. And I've got a, a 16 volt, which is 15.1 right now. So it's a little low. Uh, one of the problems I've got is I'm trying to, um, I don't have a good battery source. I could, I could take these three. There's only one hooked up. I could probably take all three of these and put them in uh, parallel and I'd have more amperage, more amp hours or whatever. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. I basically wanted to see if I could actually get uh, something in the strip that would power something from the motor while the motor was running. Um, so anyway, I've got it set up here. I've got a meter on the inverter and I've got a meter on the strip. And so when I, let's see, and I also have, I have a battery charger that is set on uh, start, which is a stronger setting. And so that's, that is charging this battery and supplying the inverter. So there's only one hooked up and I've got a meter on it. So anyway, I'll show you what I've come up with and let's see here, I'll turn the inverter on. And I've got it hooked up right to the motor. So if I turn on the strip, I've got uh, I've got a voltage going there. It's 120 volts, and the voltage here goes down quite a bit. Uh, before I turn before I turn the strip on. I've got 950 watts, and you can see the voltage goes down pretty fast. So, but anyway, before I run out of voltage, I can turn the light on. I still have the 120, and I hooked up, let's see what I did here. I hooked it up to a 125 volt, I think it was D and E. get this also. I wanted to see if I could power this. But I am able to power that. You can see the 1130 watts and look how fast the voltage goes down. So I just I did want to see if it would operate as a um, as a, a generator and a motor. And um, what I had originally thought of was turning this without having to convert it to a generator and with a smaller DC motor. If I could get those readings, but I I don't I don't have it set up. I haven't tried it to see if if once you go over. I understand that if you go over the RPM required rpm that you you can get it i'm not i'm not sure you can get those um voltages off the terminal off this motor without it being plugged in so anyway it uh and in a sense i'm trying that uh infinite energy supply by turning some volts back around to the battery and then um using the inverter but um you know, I don't know if this is such a big deal, but um, if I, you know, I even tried hooking, uh, you know, I don't think I was fast enough. I hooked up a plug to this 
that I could plug into the um, the strip, and I'm not fast enough. And I don't know if I could go a higher voltage, the uh, 165 volts, or if I'd blow up my motor, because uh, maybe it needs a little bit more power to power itself and the strip. So anyway, I thought it was, uh, I, I satisfied my curiosity and I just, oh, I, would, I really wanted that, uh, the number three motor to be what they presented it to be. And um, I just don't think it is because uh, I'm having a problem depleting the battery with only a hundred and what, uh, over a thousand watts. And when they showed powering uh, a grinder and they showed the heaters that they plugged in, they said it's 10,000 watts and it was quiet. I just don't think that's possible. I think we're missing capacitance, a lot of capacitance. And um, I don't think the bar, I don't think that that thing can operate the way they present it. And I could be wrong and I've been trying to, you know, I've been trying to show that it could, could work, but I, I just don't believe in, in it anymore. And uh, if something comes up, you know, this is going to be on the shelf and I can go to the shelf and I can work on it. Or if I get an idea, I can do that. But until, until I get more information, I can see the infinite, you know, supposedly infinite uh, circuit. Um, and I can see where capacitors, you could put, you know, you could put some, a capacitor bank and, um, you could hook it up to, you know, I've got, I've got solar coming, uh, I've only got two panels, but I've got 35, 34 volts that I have access to. Um, it just doesn't operate like, uh, engine number three. And so, uh, if I don't see the potential there, I've lost my interest in number three. And I think uh, I could do something with higher voltage and then rectification. And um, and the ether, the Earth's infinite supply of energy. So um, and I, I, I don't know if anyone's interested in this, but uh, I did prove to myself that you can get power from the motor to go to the strip. Uh, but you can't do it quietly, and you can't do it with no motion. So, anyway, I'll shut up again. Um, if anyone has any ideas or comments uh, before I put this on the shelf and start working on my magnetron type thing, um, let me know, okay? All right, I appreciate it. Thank you.